This is your League City Animal Shelter Volunteer Weekly Update. These were the Forever Homes the week of 5 16, 16 For community outreach, adoption events, and special events, we have an evening in the park. This, is, um, this will be on June 11 from 6 to 8 p.m. at League Park, which is the park right near the shelter with the gazebo. Uh, this is a fundraiser and adoption event that is being completely hosted in um, benefit of us at the shelter. Um, there's a group of citizens who've decided to put this fundraising on for us. There'll be music and vendors and a scavenger hunt for kids and, and lots of food trucks there and all of the proceeds will go towards us at the shelter. So we will be there. Um, we will need volunteers to bring a few animals. Um, we'll be at nighttime so it won't be as hot and then really kind of support this event, promote it as much as possible because again, all of the proceeds goes back to us here at the shelter. So um, we're really excited about this event. We also have the Texas Beer Refinery. Um, they have asked us to come to an adoption event at their establishment. That'll be on June 4th. The times are still to be announced. Um, so we will bring a few animals up there for adoption, promote our shelter, get the word out there about us trying to become a no-kill shelter um, and make Lake City a no-kill city, actually. Um, we will we have more details on that, but it is a really good partnership for us to have with them. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do host more events at their establishment. It really gets really busy over there. They're really animal friendly, so we're lucky for this. Um, we also have the City of Lake City 4th of July celebration that will be on 4th of July the day. We're still waiting to hear um, more info on that. And we, of course, we have the Autumn Laser. You visit Memory and Care Facility for Tuesday of the month. Uh, the next visit will be tomorrow from 10 to 11. So for those of you who have never um, have are new to the volunteer program and haven't heard about this, uh, we actually bring animals from the shelter to visit with the residents at the memory care facility. The uh, residents really enjoy it. They look forward to it every month for us to be there. Um, the animals also enjoy it too. It gives them a break from the shelter, gives them some time to socialize and really promote them and get them used to being handled by somebody other than just us. So if you're interested in signing up for that, do that on the My Volunteer page for tomorrow. For shelter news, um, we there is um, a council workshop tonight at 6 p.m. at the Lake City Civic Center discussing the new shelter building. I know we've kind of talked about this a little bit. Um, and people have got some rumors going on. Uh, we are really trying to promote and let the council know how important it is for us to have um, a new building here for the shelter and at the animals. So if you're in support of this, um, please visit the council workshop tonight at 6 p.m. at the Civic Center. Um, and as far as the shelter improvements update, there is the um, office trailer was scheduled to be delivered tomorrow. There is a delay in that. Um, there was one permit missing in order us for to deliver that that trailer. So as soon as we get that resolved, um, the office trailer will be the next thing, and after that, it will be renovations actually inside of the shelter. So just to kind of keep everybody up to date on the improvements going on here. For help needed, we do have PetSmart at both locations. We still are trying to do Baybrook, even though um, we are not able to store the things there. We still have that outlet in order to get animals adopted. We do normally at least to get one or two animals adopted every time we go. So if we, we're still trying to keep that outlet going until other solutions have been made. And of course, we're having the PetSmart at League City, and we need helpers for that as well. So please sign up for that. We also have Evening in the Park event. Um, that is available for sign up for June 11th. That'll be from 6 to 8 p.m. It will be at nighttime, so I know there's a lot of concern as far as temperature goes. So it'll be a little bit cooler. And we also will be in League Park, so it'll be lots of shade. Um, we will be bring a limited amount of animals, three to four at the max. So um, please sign up for that event if you're able to help with that. It is a really good um, event. And of course, it is a fundraiser for us, so we want to show our support for the community supporting us. Um, and we have the Adopt-a-thon, which is coming up, and it's a huge event for those of you who don't know what the Paws and Claws Adopt-a-thon is. It's uh, we, uh, the Friends of Lake City Animal Shelter, host it, uh, and we have lots of groups that come, different shelters that come and bring animals for adoption. It's $25 adoption. We have vendors, food, music, all types of good things, demonstrations for canine. We had over um, 2,000 people show up last year. And we were able to adopt out around 60 um, more animals just from our shelter alone. So please, uh, we will need lots of volunteers as far as canine, feline, food, silent auction volunteers, raffle tickets, volunteer coordinating, all of that. It's a really, really big event, so we need all hands on deck. So if you're interested in that, sign up will be slowly um, popping up this week as is added to the volunteer page. 
and for volunteer opportunities we do have open house the next one will be June 4th um, and June 16th we have the um, clicker training part one that will be June 18th for those of you interested in um, moving up to a level two volunteer clicker training is included in that so please sign up for that um, and then we also have those upcoming webinars one is this week uh, maximizing off-site cat adoption success that will be May 24th for the, all the feline friend people who are interested in um, learning more about that and maybe um, participating or putting some of those ideas here at our shelter. We also have the conversational adoption counseling which I recommend for all volunteers who volunteer in the shelter or at off-site adoption events. It is a um, great webinar to kind of teach you about how to do conversational adoption counseling, how to figure out what people need or want or or what they're looking for in an animal and really get these animals out there and promote them. So that is a good um, a really really good webinar for everybody to um, possibly um, attend and also we have the care and feeding of foster families so this is for those of you who do foster or who would like to help in promoting our foster program and getting more fosters here at our shelter this will give you um, a webinar is about um, building up our foster program so that'll be on June 28th for volunteer meetings, we currently, um, the quarterly volunteer meeting was still uh, scheduled for June 23rd from 6 to 8 p.m. We will talk about several different aspects as far as a new shelter building update, um, donkey group play, um, the TXU conference that I went to. Um, I will be giving an update on what I've learned and things that are new in our, in our um, program and things like that. So um, for those of you who are volunteers, please sign up for that. And we also have the Pet Marts crew meeting, which will be coming soon. And for volunteer spotlight, I'd like everybody to meet Amy. So Amy Potter Losh is a behind the scenes kind of girl. So some of you may have never met her, but she does a ton of things for our shelter here. She helps promote our hard to adopt dogs by bringing them to Petco, by making Facebook posts, by learning, taking them home and just getting to know them so she can write about them. I mean, she's amazing with things, especially Argus is one of her big ones. We all know that we're all trying to get Argus a good home and Amy's a big advocate for him. Um, she fosters our baby kittens. So she has, um, you know, two kittens and a uh, three kittens now at her house that she's fostering for us um, which is amazing and she's also connected with us with a training group in Austin where Rain went to she's the one that was behind all of that she is an amazing volunteer to have we're so lucky to have her um, she has the cutest little boy that comes up to the shelter that will occasionally help and he's just a future LCS volunteer in the making and we can't wait for him to be able to get started so thank you so much Amy for being such an amazing volunteer we're so happy to have you on our team so thank you so much and that's it, everybody. Thank you so much, volunteers, and I will see you all next week.